Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So this is actually a video that a lot of people requested. Um, I unboxed this uh, probably back. It's been about. I've been using this for about three weeks now. Uh, twenty six. I've been using it for about twenty three days. Okay, to be exact. Um, uh, this is for the One Plus Three. This is the Tudia um, Omnix. Now, this is the only case that I've actually used on the One Plus Three ever since I got the One Plus Three. The only difference is I took my black one out and put the white one in, uh, but it was on the black one for the entirety of its life. Uh, and today I switched it over to the white one. And I, someone else mentioned to me, "Hey Jay, where's the updated video on the Tudia case?" Um, so the Omnix is kind of like their heavy duty. A rugged style uh, case for the one plus three it is actually a phenomenal case uh, I did I thought that I would want to take this off after a while um, but I, I don't let me slide this camera a little bit get some better lighting here I thought I would want to take this off but I actually didn't I, I leave it on because I don't have any kind of insurance or anything like that and I could do um, I could do um, square trade for this, but it's just not worth it to me. So I'll rather just use it and just put a nice strong case on it. And then if I if it breaks, I buy another one. Uh, very seldom do I break phones or drop phones, except for the iPhone, man. I have broken so many iPhones. It's crazy, and they fall from a short distance with a case, and they still shatter. Nonetheless, not to take shots at the iPhone. I'm still rocking with them. But uh, this two-year case, um, once again, let me give you a once-over. So the camera is deeply recessed, as you can see right here. You're going to get lots of camera protection when you're laying it on this part of the case. And I frequently have my phone like this anyway. Uh, but the camera is completely protected around here. It's, it's just protected. You won't have any problems. There was actually no scratches on my black OnePlus 3. Uh, it, it's in great condition, like brand new. Um, and uh, take a look around this side of the case here. Uh, the switch for the notifications is completely covered, volume rocker is covered, uh, and power button is covered, and all the ports are pretty much covered. So you're probably wondering, Jay, how is it held up? That was why, that was a question that someone um, told me they wanted me to make this video for. Uh, not just one person, several people said, hey, Jay, do an update. Most people don't do updates on cases, and you're right. So a lot of the videos that I put out on my channel, this it's basically on uh, subscriber request. Or just someone stopping by the channel and say, hey, you going to do an update or no? And uh, it's kind of difficult to do updates sometimes when you're using a bunch of phones. Uh, but this phone is, has gotten used, every, well, not this particular one. I just got my gold one. Uh, but the black one that was in this one up until today, it's been used heavily. So this case has been dropped uh, with the phone in it. Uh, it's just been... Uh, and it's held up well. It was some nicks around the corners and stuff, but it's got corner protection. So it's got little grips all around the case. So I haven't really had any problems with it. I just brush it off. If it hits the cement, that turns white. I just kind of work it out, and then that's that. So if you're interested in a case for the OnePlus 3 and you want full coverage uh, on your on your phone, um, I got to tell you, um, this might be the one to get. Now, a lot of people say, you don't use Spigen. And I'm like, yeah, I do use Spigen, but... Um, when a company reaches out to me and says, hey, you know, we'll send you this, I'm going to save money, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to, now I do, I have reviewed some speaking cases, but those are probably ones that I purchased, and um, if I can save some money, I'm just going to be honest, wouldn't you save the money too? Wouldn't you take the free case instead of paying $10 for a case? Of course you would. Besides that, I buy a lot of cases, but here lately, a lot of the OEMs, and shout out to all the OEMs, they have really been supporting my channel, I appreciate the love, um, Tudia, and Poetic, and oblique and if I didn't call your name I'm sorry but there is a lot of OEMs that support my channel with accessories and so I'm fortunate enough not to have to purchase a lot of cases that is why I give them away look for my Samsung Galaxy Note frenzy video it's coming I'll probably do that live so um, it's coming but however this case right here has held up phenomenal I mean the screen is well protected um, see they take care of me see there's zero, zero lemon sending me something else uh, you'll see that on the channel too and it, it's related to the Note 7, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Uh, however, this case holds up well. It's protected uh, very well. Now, there's another case for the Note 7, and I can reach it here. It's not it's not being used at the moment, but this case pretty much has the same thing, the cutouts along the top, and this isn't to knock this case or anything. It's just that uh, this case falls in line with this type of case, like this Unicorn Beetle type style, and um, 
along the proximity sensors here, um, this one actually cuts off the proximity sensor. And I didn't even notice it until someone said it in a video. But you can still see the notification light shining through the case. That's the thing. But with this one, you know, you can see it does have the cutout there. It has the cutout for the notification, the proximity sensor, the speaker, and the camera. It's all cut out. Uh, the part around the um, around the home button uh, with the fingerprint reader is cut out perfectly. Uh, the case in hand just feels really good. Um, they sent me this gray version. I appreciate it. Uh, probably any color they would have sent. I just kind of told them, just send whatever. You know, they they. I don't really care if you're giving me something to review. I'm really going to review it and use it for real. And I've actually used this heavily um, with this phone. Um, you know, the, the my black one plus three, uh, and it's just been great, man. I haven't had any problems with it. I will highly recommend this. Not because I got it for free. It's because I have what three or four more other two year cases, and I have poetic for this one. I have. I mean, I have a lot of cases for this, and I have other heavy-duty cases, but none of them cover, none of them have the built-in screen protector. And um, this phone has such a beautiful display, you know, I would not want to cover, look at that. I would not want to cover that up. Mind you, I got to tell you, this picture right here, I posted this on Google Plus and Twitter. This is a phenomenal picture, right? I took this with this phone right here, the ZTE Z Max Pro. This camera, the ZTZ Max Pro may not have the best camera, but in the right settings, it's got some phenomenal, it can take some phenomenal pictures. So I like to use, I like pictures of the sky. If you follow me on, on Google Plus and Twitter, frequently you might see me posting pictures of the sky and stuff. And I just kind of like taking pictures of the open road and stuff like that because I do a lot of traveling. Nonetheless, this case has held up well. Thanks for listening to me and, and joining me in this um, revisited video for the OnePlus 3 Tudia Omnix case. I said in the unboxing that this is the best case, and now I can officially tell you, you should buy this case if you haven't already done so for your OnePlus 3. That doesn't take away anything from any of the other Tudia cases I have, the Impact cases, the Poetic, the, all the other cases are great. I just found that with this phone, this case is the one not too bulky the case is the, see, the phone is really thin and that's what makes this case still feel great super thin and more importantly the battery life on the one plus three is a boss man i mean i've got probably almost two hours of screen on time already and, and i'm at 75 percent let's see i bet my screen on time is at least an hour and 45 at least an hour and 48 i was close so, and the reason I say that is, I don't have to take this out. I don't have to mess with these ports very often for charging <laughs> because the phone uh, stays on battery for a long time. Uh, but there it is, man. I, would I tell you to buy this Omni, uh, the Omnix uh, to, from Tudia? I sure would. They didn't pay me to say this. They gave me the case for free. I did a real world test by leaving the phone in there for at least three weeks before I got back to you. I know I told you guys two weeks. But um, when I dropped it, I was kind of like, oh, man, you know, it was like a loud splash, like a loud clicking or sound. And I can't even I can't make the sound effects. However, I realized then I'm going to leave this phone in this case, you know, and I wish I wish other OEMs would go ahead and make this type with the front completely covered. Because right now the unicorn beetle type like this is the one for the Note 7 and this is the one for the Note 7 and um it, it doesn't this one didn't even come with the screen protector, but the one for the, the note 7 from outer box does So look for that on my channel as well. Hopefully later on. All right guys I'll see you in the next video didn't really make this so long for a follow-up video on a case But this case is all that for the one plus three. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care